O Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 9. Working in Canada. The following dialogue is related to Unit 7, Employment, from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 7.1. Employment in Canada. 7.2. How do you feel about working in Canada? 7.3. Who works in Canada? 7.6. Your first job in Canada. In this dialogue, the Canadian Orientation Abroad Facilitator explains about employment in a session. Ali and Obasi share their thoughts and previous work experience. Obasi was a welder back in his home country, while Ali does not have any work experience. They talk about the kinds of jobs available to newcomers. The Canadian Orientation Abroad facilitator, Ali, Sadia, Obasi, and other refugees are in the Canadian Orientation Abroad session room. A childminder takes Sadia's and Obasi's children to the childminding room until the session is over. The facilitator tells the attendees they can talk amongst themselves for a few minutes before the Canadian Orientation Abroad session begins. Hi, Obasi. I am excited about today's session. It is about employment. Hi, Ali. Yes, me too. I am a welder, and I want to continue my career in Canada. That is awesome. I do not have work experience. I want to start working at a restaurant and own one of my own someday in Canada. That is an amazing dream. It might be hard to find the job that we want right after we arrive, but we have to start somewhere. Yes, I know. Oh, it seems the Canadian Orientation Abroad Facilitator is about to start the session. Hi, everyone. I am your Canadian Orientation Abroad Facilitator. Let us talk about jobs and everything you need to know about working in Canada. To become financially independent in Canada, Finding and keeping a job is important. After you have settled in Canada and before your financial support ends, if you are able to work, you can start your job search to become financially independent. Neither the Government of Canada nor your government-funded organization or sponsors can guarantee you a job upon your arrival in Canada. However, your government-funded organization or your sponsors can connect you with employment-related services. I want to work to support myself and my family. I do not want to depend on others to support my family financially. Me too. Great. Another thing to know is that every one of you has the right to work in Canada. All of us? Yes, everyone. It does not matter who you are. All of you have the right to work. There are laws that prevent employers from treating employees unfairly based on gender, sex, age, race, social class, marital or family status, language, religion, nationality, immigration status, sexual orientation, and ability or disability. What about us? We are refugees. Can we legally work? You will not be refugees when you arrive in Canada. You will have permanent resident status. Permanent residents are legally entitled to work. Can I show the permanent resident card to employers when I am hired? For employers, you will need a social insurance number. You will need to apply for a social insurance number when you arrive in Canada. You will need to show this number when it is legally required. 
such as when you start a new job or get a loan from a bank. But if it is not legally required to provide this number to someone, you should keep it safe and protected from others. Never give your social insurance number out over the phone or through text messages or emails unless you know who you are talking to. So we can work in any kind of job we want when we arrive? Like I can start my own company? Well, doing it may take some time to establish yourself and learn about the rules in Canada. But yes, it is possible. Great. Someday I will. Okay, well, while you do have the right to work, you also need to have the qualifications required for that job. I do not have much work experience. I want to work in a restaurant, but I need to start working right away, even if it is not in the restaurant industry. What kind of jobs can we get in Canada? The first jobs many people have are non-regulated jobs. What do you mean by non-regulated jobs? Non-regulated jobs do not require a license, certification, or registration. Though requirements for employment vary, you may still be required to demonstrate a certain level of skills. About 80% of jobs in Canada are non-regulated. I see. What kind of jobs are non-regulated? Here are some examples. A delivery person, a cashier, a security guard who does not carry a weapon, a construction worker, a landscaper, assembly line worker. Can you think of some others? Hmm, what about a job like a cleaner or a childcare worker? Oh, I might be able to find a job in a restaurant too. Maybe tailor? Yes, exactly. Those are all good answers. There are a lot of jobs for caregivers. You also mentioned tailor or someone who can sew. Also, hairstylists and barbers are in demand if you have experience. Restaurant and food service workers are also important. There are assembly line workers and stock clerks as well. What is a stock clerk? A stock clerk is someone who moves products from the warehouse to inside the store, where they stock the shelves with the products that are for sale. I see. This seems like a good time to take a short break. When we come back, we will discuss more about working in Canada. That sounds good. End of Dialogue Unit